Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to blow your mind with a crazy theory that will make you question everything you know about life and death. So, you know the moon? Well, what if we told you that it's not a natural satellite, but a giant spaceship that was installed thousands of years ago by an alien race? And what if we told you that the moon is actually a soul trap that captures human souls when they die and forces them to reincarnate over and over again on Earth? Did you know that the moon is perfectly positioned to create eclipses and tides on Earth? That's not a coincidence, that's a sign of intelligent design. The moon is actually a hollow sphere with a metal shell and a powerful electromagnetic field that manipulates the gravity and energy of the Earth. But why would the aliens do this? Aliens are actually harvesting human souls for their own purposes. They feed off our emotions, our memories, our creativity, and our spiritual energy. They use the moon as a device to erase our memories and implant false ones before sending us back to Earth. This way, they keep us in a cycle of ignorance and suffering while they enjoy our essence. But how can we escape this trap? How can we free ourselves from this matrix? One way is to raise our vibration and consciousness to a level that transcends the moon's influence. Or try to remember your past lives and reconnect with your true self. You may think that the people around you are all real, living beings with their own thoughts and feelings. But the truth is that most of them are just soulless extras, designed to fill up the matrix and keep you distracted from your true self. The matrix is a vast, complex system that's been created to control our minds and keep us in line. It's designed to make us believe that we're living in a real world, when in fact, we're just living in a simulation. Most of the people you encounter in your life are just computer-generated images, programmed to behave in certain ways and say certain things. They're not real, they're just part of the Matrix's elaborate stage show. So why does the Matrix need all these soulless extras? It's simple, to keep you entertained and distracted. The Matrix wants you to focus on the superficial things in life, like money, status, and material possessions. It wants you to believe that these things are important, so that you'll keep chasing after them, instead of looking within yourself and discovering your true purpose. But don't be fooled, my friends. You are more than just an extra in the Matrix's stage show. You have a soul, a purpose, and a destiny. It's time to break free from the Matrix's grip and discover who you truly are. So the next time you encounter someone who seems soulless or fake, remember that they're just part of the Matrix's illusion. Don't let them distract you from your true path. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we discuss the hidden truth behind the pyramids. Many think humans built the pyramids, but why is that impossible? The limited tools available at the time made it impossible to build pyramids using 70-ton blocks. The pyramids' mathematical precision, with identical angles and side lengths, would have been impossible at the time. The pyramids' internal chambers were accurately placed, an impossible feat without surveying equipment and tools. The sarcophagi's precision disproves hand carved them to fit the pyramids' walls. The pyramids' alignment with stars and constellations is a marvel of ancient engineering. The main pyramids' coordinates are a speed of light. How could the old Egyptians know this? What if the pyramids were part of a vast Earth's natural energy network? The ancient Egyptians believed in the cosmic force, a potent energy that could heal, enlighten, and aid spiritual growth. The pyramids amplified and directed this energy towards specific locations. Some believe ancient civilizations harnessed this energy to immortality, communication with other realms, or consciousness. So, what happened to this ancient knowledge? It may have been lost over time, as civilizations rose and fell. Others believe it was concealed by those in power, who saw it as a threat to their control. See you in our next video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Greetings, truth seekers. Join us as we explore that clones are secretly used in politics, acting as puppets for the deep state. It's true. Advanced alien cloning technology is used to create replicas of high-ranking politicians. These clones, indistinguishable from the originals, were then programmed and controlled to serve the interests of shadowy forces. That means that our leaders and representatives are no longer in control of their own decisions, instead, they are being manipulated by a sinister force. These clones are crafted to look and act like the original politicians, but their agendas are entirely different. They serve the interests of the deep state, not the people. They use their power to pass laws and regulations that benefit their masters. 
From inexplicable behavior shifts, strange glitches during live broadcasts, physical anomalies, inconsistent speech patterns, unexplained disappearances, sudden policy shifts to policy reversals, keen observers have pointed to these signs as potential clues into the clone replacement world. Examples of clones mentioned on the internet are, Britney Spears, Joe Biden, Angela Merkel, Hillary Clinton and other politicians and celebrities. Throughout history, numerous events have emerged, revealing hidden truths like MKUltra and Operation Paperclip. Who else do you think is a clone? Tell us in the comments. Hey there, welcome to The Matrixer. We're here to discuss the implications of living in a simulated reality or a multiverse. If we're living in a simulated reality, then everything we know and experience could be a product of someone else's design. Our thoughts, emotions, and actions could all be predetermined, and our sense of agency and free will could be an illusion. This raises questions about the nature of consciousness and what it means to be truly alive. On the other hand, if we're living in a multiverse, then there could be an infinite number of versions of ourselves and our reality. This could mean that every decision we make creates a new parallel universe, and the possibilities for our lives and the world around us are endless. If we're living in a simulated reality, then who or what is controlling our existence? Is there a purpose to our lives? Or are we just part of a larger experiment? If we're living in a multiverse, then what does it mean for our sense of self and our relationship to the world around us? Are we just one version of ourselves? Or are we connected to all the other versions in some way? Living in a simulated reality or multiverse might alter how we perceive actions and their consequences and raise a profound question. Do our choices matter if they are preordained or predetermined? Conversely, if our decisions spawn new parallel universes, the magnitude of our choices can feel staggering. Hey there, welcome to The Matrixer. Today we explore one of the most curious and captivating phenomena of all, a glitch in the matrix. This is part one. Reality is a concept where, for the uninitiated, certain moments in time seem to defy expectations and leave one feeling a little disoriented, a little off balance almost. We've all experienced those moments where we feel like we're living in a dream or where something seems too coincidental to be true. But what if those moments were more than just coincidences? What if they were signs of a glitch in the matrix? Some examples of glitches in the matrix moments include seeing the same person or thing multiple times in a short period of time, feeling like you've experienced a moment before, even though it's your first time there, witnessing a sudden and inexplicable change in your surroundings, hearing someone say something that you were just thinking about. One theory is that these glitches are caused by a computer simulation, similar to the one portrayed in the movie The Matrix. As per this theory, the reality we perceive might be a computer program designed by an advanced civilization, leading to glitches in the code. Another theory is that these glitches are evidence of parallel universes or alternate realities bleeding into our own. There are infinite versions of ourselves out there, and sometimes our paths cross in unexpected ways. Next time you experience a strange and inexplicable moment, take a step back and consider. Is this just a coincidence or could it be a glitch in the matrix? Welcome to the matrix, sir. We delve into hypnagogic states. These transitional moments between wakefulness and slumber offer a gateway to the mind. Let's explore tips to get into hypnagogic states. Relaxation. Effective relaxation methods include deep breathing exercises, progressive muscle relaxation, and meditation are the key. Visualization. Use your imagination to create vivid mental images that can help you enter a hypnagogic state. Sound therapy. Certain sounds can help induce hypnagogic states, such as binaural beats or white noise. What can you use the hypnagogic state for? Creative inspiration. Many artists and writers use hypnagogic states to tap into their creativity. In this state, the mind is free to wander and explore new ideas that can be used in creative projects. Problem solving. Hypnagogic states can also aid problem solving. When the mind is relaxed, creative solutions to challenges that seemed insurmountable before become more accessible. Self-discovery. During these moments, you become more open to introspection, enabling contemplation of your thoughts, emotions, and experiences. They facilitate the path toward greater self-awareness. Lucid dreaming. After reaching a hypnagogic state, you can perform reality checks and visualize lucid dreams. Also, you can use hypnagogic states for spiritual exploration, healing or personal growth.